Now, this might be the weirdest project I've ever done. First of all, what the hell is this thing? Well, to give you a bit of history on this project, I started using Snooze 19 years ago. And Snooze is a Swedish type of tobacco that you put under your lip. And it is quite unfortunate that I've been doing it for 19 years as it is extremely hard to quit. For now, I want to build myself a safe that helps me take less of it. This is such a stupid idea. So what I need this safe to do is lock up my snooze and I buy it in sets of 10 of these boxes. And I don't want to use more than one box a day, so I only want to be able to open the safe every 24 hours. So to do this, I got some electronics. But before I get into the electronics, I should say there are many loopholes in this project. Like, I could decide not to use more than just one box a day. And also, the safe doesn't prevent me from going out and just buying more. And also, when I open the safe, I could just take out more boxes than one. But that's not what this project is about. I want to build myself a safe where I am in control of my own limitations. You could say I'm trying to reduce my intake of snooze the fun way. Who knows, eventually I might be able to quit by reduction. Who am I kidding? So, the electronics. I've got an Arduino. Arduino is a microcontroller that is pretty simple to program even for people without any programming skills. That would be me. And the Arduino will be the brains of the operations. Next I have this keypad. If I enter the correct code, a green LED will light up and this little solenoid lock will unlock the safe. And if the code is incorrect, a red LED will light up. And to keep track of time, I have a small LCD that will show me how much time it is left before I can open the safe again. Now that's all the electronics, basically. Now for the programming, you can use Arduino's own software. It's pretty easy to use. And that's where I'm gonna start because once I have my components ready, it'll be easier building the box around those. So let's get programming. So I have a problem, or to be honest, I have a couple of problems. One, there's nothing showing on the display, which is a bit of an issue, of course. Secondly, I don't know what I'm doing here. You see, when doing Arduino, you need to use certain libraries of code specific to the hardware you're using. And in this case, I'm using a library for the display that isn't working currently. Another issue is that the countdown actually starts, but it ends straight away as well. So I have some figuring out to do. It might look like I did all the programming in one sitting, but that's not the case. I have been programming back and forth and I also got a lot of help from my brother. So shout out brother. But for now, enough talking, let's start building the box.
All right, so I think all the woodworking is done by now. I need a stop lock for the door so that it doesn't go into the box. Uh, and I'm also gonna attach the knob, but after that, I'm all done. So let's go ahead and start putting in the components to see if this thing actually works. Okay, so I've got it all hooked up now. This is the first time I'm trying it out, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I really hope so. The programming was fine the last time I tried it at least. So let's try to open this up and see if I can actually use it. It does say enter passcode now, so I'll enter my passcode. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes. So I'm gonna try to enter the wrong password as well. Yeah, let's put the snooze in. And now, I can't open it anymore. Now there is one more major flaw with this and it's the on off switch on the back because if I turn it off, I can just turn it back on and I can enter the passcode again. To fix that, I think I need some kind of timekeeper with a battery inside the box that will just keep counting the time whenever the power is turned off. But that's gonna be a later problem. And as you can see, once closed, the box will stay closed for 24 hours before I can open it again. Now you might think you should actually store the snooze in the fridge, and you are right, it should be stored in the fridge. But snooze lasts quite a long time outside of the fridge as well, so it's not really a problem for me the way I'm using it at least. Now that's it for this one, I do hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh. Arduino is a microcontroller. Arduino is a microcontroller. That's really hard to say. Arduino. Controller? Controller. Arduino is a microcontroller. And what is that? Now let's close you down.